Welcome back to News 15 today. Joining us now is friend of the show, Chris Rader, to talk tech talk once again this morning. Chris, thanks for joining us. And today we're talking about digital wallets. Yes. Let's talk a little bit about Venmo. And for okay. those people who are not familiar with Venmo, um, Venmo is an, uh, a digital wallet which allows peer-to-peer uh, -peer transactions. So, it's, for example, if I owe you $20, Carter, I can use the app and, and, and pay you $20 from my account to your account. It's extremely fast, extremely simple, um, so also easy to use. And, and it, it links to your bank account. So you, you first thing you should say is, uh, Chris, what about security, right? I mean, I know that's what you're thinking, Carter. Oh, yeah. So you just want to make sure that you, you attach it to a bank account that has limited funds in it um, in case someone would get your login and your password, although it does have multi-factor authentication. But the, the value in this and the reason we're talking about it today is because uh, these digital wallets are being used more and more. There's, there's 52 million Venmo users in this country, and I'm seeing a lot of, I call them soccer moms or people at school, you know, this mom owes that mom for something that their children bought and children are using it and flipping money back and forth. So it's big, but the big part about it is that it's going to, these people are looking at um, uh, digital currencies like Bitcoins and such and the ability to trade that. And it's coming on board pretty quick. Um, uh, PayPal uh, was looking at a digital currency. Facebook was looking at a digital currency. And Facebook in 2019 said, we're going to have a digital currency. And then they've kind of pulled the reins back for reg regulation on that. But um, a digi uh, digital currencies are, are being used quite a bit because those transactions are not traceable. Um, and, you know, if you use a credit card transaction in this country, any country, it's traceable. It is traceable. So uh, this is also known as fintechs, financial and technology companies put together. So we're seeing a massive change from the traditional banking to all of these um, these payment systems. It's what, what we call them, our digital wallets. Well, within the past week, I know we reported that PayPal will be able to soon to start selling and buying Bitcoin through the app. And I know Cash App already does that. Chris, I've been using Venmo right. ever since college to send people beer money and whatnot back in the day. So right. it's, it's interesting to see where these are going. <laughs> Correct. So it's um, we, we use them in our everyday life. I just limit it to my bank account. And I think that's the key I'd like to tell the viewers. Is don't, don't put it on your major bank account. Just put it on a minor one. All right, Chris, well, thank, you so, thank you so much for joining us, and we'll talk to you next time. We appreciate you joining us as always.